Hello students, let us continue our discussion on uh, DSP properties. Today uh, we shall see some important properties like uh, circular folding and uh, uh, DFT of real and e real and uh, real even and uh, real odd sequences. Let us see that. First is uh, circular folding. Hmm? Circular folding. What is the circular folding property? You see, if there is a sequence x of n whose DFT is known to you, that is x of k, okay, that is x of k. Now suppose you are folding x of n, hmm? then what is the corresponding DFT? Let us fold this sequence. Fold means negative sequence or inverted sequence. Then the corresponding DFT also get folded that means it also becomes folded hmm? that's what is the property says x minus n is equal to x of minus k, hmm? x of minus k now uh, how to we will not go with this is not a very important property for you to prove it but let us understand this property uh, as an with an example okay let me consider an example here let me take uh, x of n which is 1, 2, 1, 0. Hmm? I will write corresponding x of k. I will write corresponding x of k. You can find from the matrix method and uh, you can see what exactly is this. Obviously, it is 4 and uh, minus j2, then 0, then plus j2. This is my answer. 1, 2, 1, 0 is having corresponding DFT as x of k. Now suppose you want to find the DFT of the folded sequence. What is folded sequence? You know that x of minus n. What is x of minus n? How to find the folding? First you will write the first signal 1 and then read from the reverse direction. Isn't it? That means 1, 0, 1, 2. How to find the DFT of x of minus n? It is very simple. You fold this also. That means x of minus n is having x of minus k. That means it is having 4 and then read it in this direction. That's all. J2, 0, minus J2. Hmm? J2, 0, minus. Hence, x of minus n is having folded uh, DFT. That's what a circular folding property says. If you are folding the given sequence, the corresponding DFT also get folded. Hmm? This is what is circular folding property. Let us go ahead with the next property that is symmetry property of real and even. Hmm? Fifth property symmetry in real even and real odd signals okay let us understand first uh, what is uh, real means you understand already i have told real means it is simply uh, a number which is not complex that's all 1 2 3 4 1 0 1 2 such signals are called as real signals now what exactly is even signal See now, real even signal. Hmm? What is real even signal? If, if x of n is equal to x of minus n, hmm? on, the other way, or on the other side, x of minus n is equal to x of n, hmm? then we call this signal as even signal. We call this signal as even signal. Hmm? What is the meaning? The actual signal and the folded signal both are equal. Actual signal and folded signal both are equal. Hmm? Example here. For example, example, I will take this. X of n is equal to 2, 2, 2, 0, 0, 0 and then 2, 2. 
whether the signal is even or odd how to find that already x of n is given fold it how to fold it x of minus n let me write let me write x of minus n you know how you will be writing x of minus n first you will be entering 2 correct and then read it in that reverse way from here onwards correct then 2 2 0 0 0 then comma 2 2 oh both are same isn't it x of n and x of minus n are same hence this implies that the given signal is even correct given signal is even here if the original signal and the folded signal both are equal then I will say that it is even signal hmm? this is real even real because it is simply not a complex like 1 2 3 or 2 2 0 1 minus 1 all these are there in the given signal hmm? then real odd signal real odd signal here real odd signal is one which follow this property if if x of n is equal to minus x of minus n hmm? else you can write like this also x of minus n is equal to minus x of n okay the given signal is negative of hmm, that of the folded signal if this property is followed then the given signal is is odd hmm? the given signal is odd let me uh, consider one signal okay uh, x of n is equal to 0 2 2 0 0 0 0 0 0 then minus 2 and minus 2 right the given signal is this let me fold this signal x of minus n anyway you know that you will write the first signal correct 0 then you will come in this direction minus 2 minus 2 0 0 0 then 2 and 2 See here, at every position, at every position, you are having 2 here corresponding to minus, 2 here minus, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Minus 2 is there, negative of that, that is plus 2. Minus 2 is there, negative of that, that is plus 2, is present. Hence, hence, the given signal is odd signal, okay? Hence, the given signal is odd signal. I hope you understood what exactly is a real even signal and real odd signal. In the next board, I will explain you what exactly happens with the with the uh, uh, DFT of uh, even signals and odd signals. Okay, even signals and odd signals. Let me clarify that. Okay, thank you. Let me go to the next board now. Okay, let us continue with uh, DSP properties and. Uh, the DFT of real even and the real odd signals. Okay, let us consider an example. Let us consider an example. First, let me take uh, this x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 2. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 2. Now, whether the signal is even or odd signal whether the signal is even or odd signal how to find that hmm? invert this signal find x of minus n how you will find x of minus n first you will write the first signal and come in the reverse direction isn't it 2 3 2 see this both signals are same signals this implies what implies me x of n which is equal to x of minus n huh? hence signal is real even it is real even signal now without calculating the dft 
this signal dft is real huh? purely real that means there are no imaginary terms when you find out the dft of this signal hmm? there are no imaginary terms exist here because the given signal x of n is real and even let us evaluate that hmm? let me find x of k x of k how you find i will just use uh, the matrix method 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 third row 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 third column 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus j minus j j and j multiplied by 1 2 3 2 the given signal okay please see this 1 2 3 2 x of k is equal to Will you do this? First row, first column, sum it up. Hmm? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 8. Similarly, this row and column 1 minus j2 minus 3 plus j2. j2, j2 minus j2 cancels, giving you minus 2. Third row column. 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 2. 3 plus 1, 4. Answer is 0. The last one. 1 plus j2 minus 3 minus j2. Answer is minus 2. See the given 8 minus 2, 0 and 2. All are real. That means x of k is real. What this implies? This implies me that DFT of real even sequence is purely real. There are no imaginary terms in the output. The input given was real as well as even. And what is the output? Output I sense DFT of the frequency signal. It is purely real. Okay, purely real. That's what is the conclusion of this. Hmm? Similarly, uh, let me go ahead with uh, another example where x of n, I'm just taking it as 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, minus 2. Hmm? Let me evaluate whether this is even or odd signal. Let me find that x of minus n. Let me fold this signal. When you fold this signal, what happens? First you write 0 and then come in the reverse direction, isn't it? Minus 2, 0, 2. See, at each position, wherever positive signal is there, corresponding negative signal is there. 0, anyway, reflection is will be there. Hmm? Minus 2 is there here, plus 2 is there. That means this signal is, since since x of n is equal to minus x of minus n, huh? the given signal is the given signal is real and odd. It is real and odd signal. Hmm? Let me find the DFT of the signal. Hmm? DFT of odd signal. Let me find DFT of odd signal. Here real even. Okay. DFT of odd signal. Again you are finding x of k which is equal to I will use the matrix method 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 then directly I will go to third row 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 then third column 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 here I will fill with minus j minus j j and j over within a second you are filling the matrix correct into the given sequence 0 2 0 minus 2 okay now x of k you can find from this x of k is equal to huh? first 0 plus 2 plus 0 minus 2 
answer becomes 0. Next, this and this column 0 minus j2 minus 0 uh, minus j2 becomes minus j4. Next, third 0 minus 2 0 plus 2 is equal to 0. The last answer 0 plus j2 minus 0 plus j2 is equal to j4. Now if you can see this, the output which is there, no? all answers, either it is 0 or purely imaginary. We call that this signal is purely imaginary signals because zeros are neither real or nor complex. Hmm? But the output here, important point to note us is the output which is there, no? it is purely imaginary always. Huh? If the given signal is a real and odd signal, hmm, I can write that DFT of real odd sequence or odd sequen signal is purely imaginary, purely imaginary, that's what is the concept here, okay. I told uh, this uh, real even and real odd sequences what is their corresponding DFTs okay I explained you in this video what is a real sequence and what is an odd sequence hmm? what are their corresponding DFTs please note that real even sequences are having purely real DFT as an output if the given sequence or signal is purely Im uh, real and odd in that case, the DFT of that signal will be purely imaginary. Okay, You have to note down this. Hmm? Thank you. Let me post an assignment regarding this. Uh, Unicity is very serious about your uh, classes. Okay, Classes engaged and your attendance also. Hence, try to log into these videos. Uh, submit the assignments as and when uh, I post the uh, assignments okay thank you for uh, your attention